such a weird mood. I think uh, maybe the start crazy is starting to set in. <laughs> Hi guys, coming back at you today with another sassy bun. <laughs> um, I usually do this hairstyle quite a bit. For some reason today it's not working the best. So anyway, uh, today I'm coming at you with a project pan. Um, so I started this a project pan in January. Um, but the way I kind of looked at it is um, I was so I'm going to do quarterly refreshes. So every um, three months I'll go into it and if there's something that I'm just not loving or I'm just not getting on with, I'll exchange it or just toss it out depending um, on, you know, how I feel about the product. Um, but so I started out in January with a few products um, and I didn't get along with any of them. So I went ahead and just passed them on um, because I kind of use that one as to like see if I really like those products and... I didn't. I, I got as much use out of it as I could bear, and then I was just like, I can't do it anymore. I passed them on. So I have a brand new list of stuff, and I've got the things right here. And then how I do my project pan because I have so many products, I tried to not confuse them with like uh, the shop my stash and things like that to like swap in and out um, as I put stickers on. So though this time I have um, some blue stickers since the Pantone color of the year is I believe it's blue, like a co not a cobalt, but like a Ceruleum blue. I forget. Anyway, we're gonna do the Pantone color of the year. So we're gonna do blue and blue is the color of my eyes. So I just figured we'll do blue. I don't know. Actually, if I'm being totally honest, it was the first color that I saw in my drawer of stickers. I pulled it out and I just made it some crap to. Yeah, there you go. Click on my feet. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just talk you through what I'm gonna be using um, in my quarterly refresh of my project pan. So. Uh, first up, I guess we can go ahead and start with primers since we'll just, I'll just go in the order that did my face, make it easier. Okay, so first up that I have is the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This is a teeny tiny little sample, um, and I don't have a whole lot of it left, um, just because, like, I started it and, I mean, it actually goes pretty far down in there. I was not expecting it to go down that far into the container, but we have this much left, so, um, I will uh, definitely mark this on a page, and that's the first product we're going to use. I'm just going to put my little blue sticker on the top to remind me that this is in my project pan. So that's the first one up. Uh, second one I have is, this is the second primer, um, but again, it's a tiny size. It's the Milk Makeup Hydro Boost, or excuse me, Hydro Grip Primer. Um, as you can see, this is just like a little travel size, but I have used quite a bit of it already. Um, I... I'm not the biggest fan of this primer, so I'm glad I, I'm glad they had a little travel size to come out with as well, like when it first launched, so I was able to try it. It's just okay. It's not my favorite, um, and I have pretty dry skin. I don't find it to be really that hydrating, but um, the, I don't know, it just kind of makes my skin almost feel like tight, sticky. You know what I'm talking about? Like if you put like a, like a mask on or something, it kind of gets like that sticky, tight feeling. I'm just not into it that much, but I do want to use it up since I bought it, you know, and I'm trying to get you use out of it, so... Put a little sticker on her. There we go. And again, I'll mark this. I'm actually going to take um, some nail polish. I'm going to mark where this is at. All these products um, that are able to have like markings on it. I'm going to put nail polish to mark it because nail polish tends to last better than a um, permanent marker. So go ahead and put this, the uh, nail polish on there and then mark it as we go. And then that way we'll be able to see marginally where we are. And then of course, um, I'll take pictures of the... Um, products that I can take a picture of and then I'll insert those into the next update next month so we can see where we're at. So before and after pictures. Okay, so from there, um, my foundation. I'm going to be using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. Um, this is the skin tint, uh, hydrating tint with hyaluronic acid, moisturizes, and plump skin for 24 hours. I really like this foundation. I have it in the shade Nude 40. Um, I really like this foundation. It's very lightweight. Uh, very natural looking on the skin. It doesn't really have like a radiant finish, but it's definitely not matte. It's kind of like a velvety satin, natural, I would just say it's more of a natural finish, which I do really enjoy. Um, slightly, probably slightly more hydrating than that. Um, but yeah, I really like it. You guys can kind of swatch it there for you guys to see. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's just nice and lightweight, great for the summertime. So, and it is currently my shade. So I will be ooh, getting her. I did not even realize my dog was behind me. <laughs> She snuck in here. She's so crafty. She is taking a nap and I love it. Okay, so blue top right there. There is that. Okay, next up we have two concealers. The reason why I have two is because one's almost finished and I just want to go ahead and like finish it up because it's been in my collection for a while. Um, so that one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm sorry if it's a little dirty. 
um, but it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair. Um, there's a little gap in the side of the tube, um, and I can kind of see where the product is. I'm pretty sure it's just down towards the bottom. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm actually going to remove the stopper out of the top, um, and that should be able to get me like all the way down to the bottom, so I'm not sure quite how I'm going to measure the progress of it. I guess I can just try to weigh it. We can try to do it by that way, but it's a little bit left. I'll probably wear this concealer um, around the house when I'm just doing stuff. So I know I'm gonna finish her up pretty soon within the next month, definitely. So putting her down there. A second concealer that I have has been discontinued and it breaks my heart because this line from Urban Decay was my favorite. I have the, I'll just go into it. It's Naked Skin. It's they, they replaced the new Naked um, line it replaced this line, the, the Naked Skin. So this is a weightless complete coverage concealer, light diffusing peptide infused concealer, and I have it in the shade Light and Warm. I really love this concealer. Um, it is just very lightweight. Um, it works great for me. I absolutely loved it, but because it is a little bit older in my collection, I mean, I, I got it right before they discontinued it, but I do still use it quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and just finish this up because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's... I want to say it's got about like half a tube maybe potentially so again I think I'll probably weigh this because I can't really see through it to see where it's at I'll probably just weigh this um so yeah the I actually have the foundation that goes along with it and for some reason the ball got stuck in between the thing anyway um I have this foundation that's my absolute favorite but um they discontinued it as well so I have this is the last little bit of my favorite foundation so I'm trying to sparingly use her just because I love her to death Anyway, that was my second concealer. Um, this, I, okay, I considered this next product a color corrector, not really a concealer, even though I think it was marketed as a concealer. Um, this is the Benefit Erase Paste. Um, this it is contained a long time ago, and it's in the shade number one fair, but it has lasted me forever. I'm talking like years at this point, and even though it's a cream product, it hasn't gone off. It still works really well. Like, I'm so shocked. And I, I, you can see I had, definitely have like major pan in the bottom <laughs> I can see you guys through but I've got major pan in the bottom here um and I just want to go ahead and finish it up just because it is older and it it's not doing any like harm to my skin but I I still want to use it up because it is so old but this is like one of my holy grails for correcting dark circles under my eyes I think the Charlotte Tilbury I think the magic oh I forget what it's called it's their color corrector and then Bobbi Brown also has one as well so um after this is complete then I will go ahead and, and um move on to those and see if I like one of those Put a blue dot on her. So there's that. Okay, next up we have powders. So this one I've been working on, I want to say about a year. And I'm finally deciding I'm going to focus on it um, just to get rid of it. This is the Revlon Photo Ready um, Translucent um, Perfected Airbrushed um, Flawless Powder. I don't even know. It's, it's the translucent powder from Rev on their Photo Ready line. As you can see, I already have major pan on it, but I want to go ahead and just finish the sucker up. So um, I do know that I like her on the skin. She's very lightweight. Um, looks really pretty. Um, it doesn't leave your skin completely matte. It kind of has like light diffusing, so it kind of looks like just a little bit more like luminous, but it's she just, just works really well. So I'm going to go ahead and finish her up. This next powder that I have... I don't like and I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now I'm gonna try my best to finish this up but I can't stand it. It, it I think the appeal for this was because of the fact that it felt good on the skin when you first applied it it is the Becca Hydra Mist set and refresh powder um and if you can see really um there I'm not halfway through okay and if I like set it down this side, I'm probably gonna do it this way and measure it like that on its side just so you know we can kind of kind of see I really don't want this to be focusing on my face I hope it's focusing on powder but I'm gonna try to measure it from the side I don't like this it feels very lightweight I think <laughs> on the skin um I've heard some people are like no it's that heavy but it just feels very cooling it feels like you know really like watery it's the oddest feeling but um, and it's very smoothing and blurring, but I feel it almost like really dries out my skin. It's the weirdest thing. I just, my skin doesn't agree with it, but I do want to go ahead and just get it, get rid of it. If I don't finish it, if I have my quarterly update, uh, she's, she's just going bye-bye because I'm, I'm going to try my best to get my, 
money's worth out of it, but um, she's not my favorite. So she will definitely be, let's see, March was technically the first quarterly, so April, June, July. So July will be the second, right, July, uh, August, September, October. Yeah, okay. So the second one is going to be um, in July. So, yeah, July. Why, am I, why is that such a struggle for me? <laughs> my blonde's coming out, sorry. I am a natural blonde, by the way, in case anybody is wondering. Um, I'm a natural blonde hair, blue eye. So people are like, ah, like you have to dye your hair. And I get highlights only in the summertime. But I'm a natural blonde, so a little bit deeper, but not that you really care. <laughs> so I throw that out there for you. All right, the next um, powder, the last powder that I have is the Cody Airspun. So I got this at Walmart like forever ago. Um, and gosh, I want to say... Oh, this is, this is going to be telling. I think I got this powder in the first year of my marriage and we would have, we will have been married for five years on July the 4th this year. So this powder is really old. It still smells exactly the same as when I first got it, which is, oh, if you know the Cody Airspun, it smells like grandma's powder, which I have to admit, it's kind of nostalgic to me because my grandma kind of smelled like baby powder a little bit. So it's kind of sweet, <laughs> but she's strong. Um, she still works really well. I have, I really don't want to tip this, but I have quite a bit left in there. As you can see, I didn't really use it a whole lot. I don't really know how I'm going to get through this. Um, I'm going to try to do the measuring technique from the side. I don't even know if you can see that with that light. Hang on, let's see if I can kind of block it. It's kind of hard to see. I'll mark it definitely with um, uh, nail polish so we can see where we're at. But I'm going to try my best to use this everywhere. Definitely setting under my eyes for sure with this powder. I actually like the way this sets underneath my eyes. I have it on actually today because I was like, let me just try it. I hope it's not too bright. But it does brighten quite a bit. Um, which I like a bright under eye. So I'm just going to see how far I can get through with her. If I like her um, next few months, then I'm definitely going to keep going with her and see if I can actually finish her up. Because like I said, she's five years old and you should never, first off, let me start by saying you should never have a product that old because it's, things can grow in it. But I think the reason why I'm okay with using it for this long is because I haven't really used it like that often ever for the last five years. So she doesn't really have a whole lot of things growing in her per se because <laughs> I just haven't really, you know, gotten used out of her. So that, that being said, you can have products for several, several years way past that. I think we all can attest to certain things like this baby, <laughs> which people have had for years <laughs> since it was like the first big pile to ever release. And like, if you weren't a giant YouTuber, like if you didn't have this, like who were you really? But, um, yeah, so this palette's really old. So she's actually, the Cody Airspun is actually really okay to use. <laughs> Oh boy, my thing is, if it doesn't smell off, you keep using it. Because girl, get your money's worth out of it. You spend a lot on it, so might as well just get your money's worth, right? Okay. Oh, moving on. We've got two blushes. Um, actually, I'm going to do my bronzers. Yes, I have bronzers. Just two. Um, so the first one, I, okay, I love this bronzer. Particularly more when I have tan skin. Um, so this is the, here she's bougie. This is the uh, Chanel Soleil Tendation. Now, this is a cream bronzer, and I love her when I have more tan skin. When I am more fair, for some reason, she pulls super orange. And I don't know if you can really tell with the natural lighting, but she doesn't look like she pulls that heavy. Um, but she definitely can on me. Uh, let me see if I can make sure I have anything else in my hand. I'm not flipping you off, I promise. Um, so, it's just kind of like a... Definitely a warm, very warm tone bronzer. I tend to prefer more cool tone bronzers just because I am more on the cool tone side. Um, I, got, I would definitely consider myself a neutral skin tone, but I definitely have a cooler undertone, like pulls more towards the cool side. But I'm rambling on, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and I want to see how far I can get in this because she was expensive. And I really do like her. I love the formulation. Apparently, they recently changed the formula on this, which I know, like, I love the way this blends out. It blends out beautifully. Um, and one of the one of the ladies that I watch here on YouTube, um, Mel Thompson, um, she uh, apparently is obsessed with this, and she went and got, like, the new formulation, and she absolutely, like, does not like it. So she, um, to test that, so she went ahead and got the old formula as backup. So, but anyway, this is a giant bronzer. It's... 30 grams, which is huge.
for a bronzer, but um, I want to see how far I can get down to this in the summertime. It looks gorgeous and beautiful when I have a tan so natural. I literally, if I don't wear any foundation, I can put a little bit of cream bronzer on. I'm telling you, it works miracles, but she's an expensive girl, so I definitely want to get use out of her this year. Okay, my second bronzer is an oldie but a goodie, and this is the oldest bronzer in my collection, and you might be able to tell because she has the old packaging. This is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. This is a light to medium, and as you can see, I have hip pan on her, but um, yeah, I I've only actually hit pan on her recently because I, I rediscovered her in my collection, and I was like, whoa, I still have that because I have the new formulation as well, but I was like, I'm going to do some work. So I've had her in, this is one of the few products that I had from the beginning of the year that I kept. Um, the other one was the um, Photo Ready Press Powder. I made a good bit of work on her, but I hit pan on her about a month and a half ago. So I am definitely continuing on with her. I want to go ahead and finish her up just because she is older and I have the new formulation. And I think it works just as well. So I'm going to ahead and put a little dot on her. There's that. Okay. Blushes. So I have two. The first one, um, so I also watch another YouTuber um, and... Um, uh, oh my goodness. Why am I blanking on her name? I just watched a video of hers. Oh, this is terrible. I, this is where I'm unprepared where I should have the names written down. Uh, why? I, I always watch her. I literally like never miss a video. Oh, uh, let me think for a second. Mm, oh, got it. Kelly Gooch. Wow. If Kelly ever watches this, I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> I love her videos so though. Look at this. Look. Leave it. We've run away. Oy. Anyway, so I watch her like all the time. And she actually tried to pan this blush. Um, forever ago, does that look somewhat decent? I guess so. It's whatever. She tried to pan this blush and she was like, after doing this, I didn't realize how hard it is to actually pan a blush. This is the Tarte blush in the shade Party. And it's it's more like party because it's P A A A R T Y. But it's a really pretty um, matte blush. It kind of—I want to say it's not completely matte because I feel like it does have a like teeny like luminosity to the skin. It may just be my skin underneath it, but it's a really pretty nice kind of light natural blush. Um, it's really pretty, but I want to see how how long because I happen to have the same thing she did, and I know how long it took her to go through it. I'm like, you know what? Let me see how long it'll take me to go through this because it is a mini. So, and I, I love minis. I know I can actually get a lot of use out of minis, and they're good for travel, but. I'm going to see how far I can get on, on with it um, and see if I can actually finish it up. So, she has a dot. The second blush that I have, I'm about to burp, excuse me. That's disgusting. I apologize. We're, oh, I start talking a lot. Everything gets turning and the bubbles want to come up, so I apologize. Um, the second blush that I have is by Benefit. It's one of the box blushes. It's the Gold Rush blush. It is a warm golden nectar blush and it is really really pretty i know this caused a lot of controversy when it first came out because it had a gold overspray which looked stunning but after you like ran your finger and just swatch around your brush that gold overspray was gone but i still like the blush underneath um it oh, it smells so pretty i have no idea what that smell is but it's a very pretty like perfumey smell this is a light everyday sort of blush um is it did you get the right one yep <laughs> it's something right there Super, super pretty, very easily like blendable on the skin. Um, this is I, I really love this blush. I want to see how long it'll take me to get through because I have quite a bit of blushes in here. But I was like, I, I wouldn't mind painting her because I do enjoy her. She's not my like favorite formula, but I do really enjoy her. She's pretty effortless on the skin. So I'll put a little blue dot on her right there. Bravo, there's that. Okay. The highlighter that I have is my very first highlighter. As you can tell, I'm trying to work through all the older things that I have in my collection. Um, but this is the um, Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This is a cult classic for a lot of people. She actually shattered several times, and I've repressed her several times. And the girl, she's still in there, y'all. This this thing, I'm afraid she'll never die. But it's fine because I have a backup. That's how much I love this highlighter, is I have a backup of her. She's super pretty on the skin very you can make it look like look at this if you sheer it out you can make it look kind of just like a really pretty glow or really intensify and give it like a pout she's just very versatile and I love this and because I have a backup and because I've repressed her so many times I feel like this I've been using and abused her and I think she just needs to to be gone so 
that little blue dot. There she is. Okay, last few products here. Uh, the I'm going to choose a face palette this time because, so this is one I'm trying to decide if I wanted to keep or not. And the reason why is because I don't really get along with the bronzer in this face palette. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm face palette. There's, this is for skin and eye gilding highlighters. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, it says for highlighters, but anyway, um, I'm going to try to use this. Um, so you've got two, uh, kind of blushy kind of highlighter E shades. Um, this one's considered a multi-glow, I think. This one's a blush pop. And then this one's the highlighter, and that's the bronzer. Um, the bronzer, for some reason, when I first got it, was kind of like firmly packed. Um, I'm sorry if the sun kind of like went out. It's England, and it hides behind the clouds, so whatever. Um, anyway, I I really love three out of the four products in here, but the bronzer I didn't really get along with. But I'm thinking I'm going to try to like scrape off the top layer and see if that works. I just don't know maybe it's mine or if I'm not using the correct brush. I've tried multiple brushes with it, but I really want to try to get used out of this because the other shades in here are actually really pretty and I do really enjoy them. So I want to see how far I can actually get through this face palette. So put a little dot on her. Voila. Okay, there's that. The eyeshadow palette that I have, again, it's my oldest product <laughs> and my oldest eyeshadow palette. And if you watch my eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow palette declutter, you will have seen this. Um, and yeah, my mom got this for me when I was 16 and um, it's very sentimental to me. And I, I remember when I got it, I was like, oh my God, it's my first adult palette. Like, oh, I feel like such, I don't know. She's just a proud moment for me. So I don't, I don't want to get rid of her, but I know she's just getting to that point where, um, she needs to be used, needs to be loved on, but it is the Too Faced Natural Eyes and it's the old tin packaging, which I think, I'm, I'm so sad they got rid of their tin packaging, like the small formula, because I actually really liked it. Um, this is just like, it's just super nice. I you like use and abuse, obviously I have major pan on the shade Nudie here, um, but Silk Teddy and Heaven, the two bigger ones, I want to try my best to hit pan in both of these. I do occasionally use, um, is that push up? Honey Pot. I do occasionally use Honey Pot and push up these two right here, um, and then I will deepen up an outer crease look with that. Um, I don't really use Erotica or um, Chocolate Martini, but I really want to see if I can finish this up this year, like the whole thing. I'm, I definitely know Nudie's going to have to go, so once, like, or she's going to be finished up. So once she finishes up, I'll do another, um, pick out another neutral shadow to go along with her. Um, but yeah, so. Can you see my dog? I don't even know. Yep, you can. A little bit. Sib. Hi. <laughs> her name is Sibby, by the way. She's my little girl. Um, putting this dot on her. Voila. I know. You want to come say hi? Can you come up here? Come on. Come on. Come on. I know you want to. Come on. <laughs> you got to get her on the side. Come here. Sorry. One second. We're going to try to work, work getting her up here. Let's see. Come here, Sib. Come here. Are you come on the side? Come on. Come on. Oh. Can we see her? Oh. This little girl. Can we see her? You want to come up to my lap? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> oh, oh. There she is. Say hi. Say hi, bro. <laughs> She's like, why are you holding me up? I don't consent to this. Um, Go ahead, lay down. down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> um, she is a um, Plot Hound Staffy mix, which, uh, just a quick side note. I will finish up the rest. I've got four more products here, but they're teeny tiny and super easy to explain. Um, So, anyway. Um, Sibby is a Plot Hound Staffy mix, so Staffordshire Terrier. Um, we got her in North Carolina last time we were there uh, at our last base. And um, in the UK, they have, uh, you can't have a pit bull. They're illegal in the UK. Well, the American Staffordshire Terrier is technically considered the pit, part of the pit bull family. Um, but because she's mixed with Plot Hound and everything, I think it, like, cut that away and I like had to send pictures and stuff to the UK like customs like to make sure that she was okay to enter in the country when we moved here so she's fine to be here but technically she's an American pit bull mix but she's because she looks more like the plot hound and like her body they accepted her which her face looks very like the pit bull kind of big jaw uh, and her ears just her whole head looks like it but her body is very long and lean so very much like um a plot hound but anyway Besides the point, that's Sibby. I'll do a whole other video on my pups um, a little bit later. So, moving on really quickly, getting through the rest of the stuff. 
I have this Urban Decay. This is a primer potion. I I don't ever use this because I just use concealer. I just blend all over my eyelids and then I set it and that's usually fine for me, but I feel like I got this. I actually think I have a backup of this. I'm not joking. And I don't hardly ever use it. Okay, make sure it's like not off. Okay, it's still like really good. Um, but yeah, I just don't use it and I feel like I need to get use out of it. The other one that I have though, uh, in my backup drawer, I'm probably going to pass on unless I really get into this. I doubt it, but I'm going to try to use this up. Um, she, she still has quite a bit to go, though. So, there's her. My eyeliner is going to be the one from Hank and Henry. This is the Stick With It eyeliner. Um, she is just a black brush tip. Um, I really do like uh, like her. Um, she doesn't really give that thick all the time. Let me see if I can kind of... It does get very, like, wispy kind of lines stuff but anyway good staying power I just have a lot open at the moment so I definitely want to um just use her up so just go through my eyeliners put her on the top okay so there's that one my mascara is so I usually only use waterproof mascara because I have a tendency to get very like watery eyes or I'm actually pretty emotional and I cry quite a bit. I hate that about myself. It's one of the things that I wish I could change was the fact that I cry all the time. But because that usually wear waterproof mascara and luckily my lashes can hold up to waterproof mascara so I can wear that all the time. But one of the few ones in my collection that I have that's not waterproof mascara is the Tarte Tartist Lash Paint. Um, I actually really like this mascara. Um, it holds up a little bit longer than... Um, like a lot of non-waterproof mascara, regular mascaras do on my eyes, but it, it can transfer for a while. So what I think I'm gonna do is just wear this at home on the days when I'm like staying home. And obviously, because we're in this quarantine, what a perfect time to use non-waterproof mascara. So might as well use this up. It's still good. I do like the formula. I just wish it were waterproof. If they came out with a waterproof version, I'd be all over it. But it definitely lengthens uh, my lashes and separates, makes them look really fluttery and pretty. So I do love this just for staying at home. <laughs> if I was going out and about, there's absolutely no way because my eyes would water in a heartbeat with any type of wind and it would just smear back to my ears and girl, that'd just be, like, be a hot mess and ain't nobody got time for that. You know, nobody, no. We just, we don't need to see that. So, my very last product, I'm gonna put a sticker on her since I was anxious. Um, the very last product that I have is by L'Oreal Paris. This is the Color Riche Plump and Shine number 103 lychee plump this is a lip can you see that there we go this is a lip balm um oh my gosh i have like a ow <laughs> my lips are like a dry spot anyway this is just a lip balm um that actually has a like plumping effect and it's got kind of like like shim sh shimmery is that that's that's not a word <laughs> shimmery sparkly it's shimmery it's got a shimmery tone to it um so I was trying to say. Anyway, it's got kind of like this gold pinky reflect to it. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, it's really nice and it gives like a definite plumping effect on the skin. So I figured that'd just be a nice hydrating balm to use. Um, so yeah, um, so that's all the makeup and stuff that I have for my next part of my project pan. Again, like I said, I will mark with um, fingernail polish where we're at and then of course the next month and I'll come back on here and show you again. Uh, for body care, I have this mineral body lotion. It's by Ahava. It's the Dead Sea Water. I don't know why the packaging is kind of blue, but it is. Um, this is a really good lotion, but I want to just make sure I start using more cream on my hands. So I'm going to keep this just on my uh, vanity here. Put a little sticker on her and to let myself remind myself to use on my hands to keep myself moisturized. So there's that. And then I have three perfumes. And I know that's a bit excessive, but here's why. Two of them are, well, one's basically gone. The other one is closely behind her. And then the third one is halfway that I like it, but I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's nice on like a daily, does it make sense? So the first perfume that I have is the Victoria's, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Seduction. As you can see, I've only got a little bit left in her. I really do enjoy this perfume, but I'm going to go ahead and just finish her up to declutter since... Hubby and I are on a big decluttering kick. Why not? So, ready? Here's a, here's a cheat. Mmm. Just like nice, light, fresh, floral, but kind of citrusy. Oh, I just, I like it. It reminds me of, um, 
kind of like Clinique Happy in a way, but like lighter. It smells really nice. Um, the second one that I have is from Hollister. It's the SoCal. And again, towards the bottom here, I love this. It's, uh, I, yes, I still wear perfume from Hollister because I think it smells fabulous. And um, I have no shame in the fact that I still like Hollister perfume. And yes, I am uh, getting, yeah, I'm in my late 20s, but I want to wear what smells good. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I felt the need to defend myself there. <laughs> whatever so she's almost gone the third perfume that i have is from calvin klein um i did mark it um initially i don't know why i guess i have no idea why i think i tried to do this a while ago but i never ended up doing it but anyways this is i don't think it has a name well it's just a C ck2 it looks like an air piston kind of thing like you know what i'm talking about like the um if you're like a car nerd like the the nos kind of canisters if you watch fast and the furious ever you've seen the the canisters and it's like the you know, whatever. Anyway, it's a, it's a nice perfume. It's very, like, clean. Very clean smelling. It's supposed to be unisex as well, so. Um, I hate that squeak. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put a little dot on her. Okay. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it. all I have for my project pan this month. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. We'll definitely be back, hopefully, this time next month. Let you know how I'm getting on with my planning on just using just these since I'm not leaving the house, really have the need to do anything particular with my makeup. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. So hope you guys are staying safe. Um, thank you all for the people that have subscribed. It means so much to me. And thank you for all that have left comments. Um, you're very, very kind and sweet. Um, and yeah, just keep on and keep, we'll keep talking to each other and, uh, keep supporting each other. And, um, yeah, so I just hope everybody's staying healthy, staying safe, and I will hopefully see you guys super soon. Bye.